Back in New York, I'm enjoying a summer day out, celebrating my birthday and going to visit St. Ives and St. Michael's Mount. And a long journey from London to Cornwall. This is a five hours in time that I am going to enjoy. Long stretch of hours in the train. As you can see, we have two good masks inside the train before boarding and traveling in some places around using the train transportation. Otherwise, I've already got out from my from my other train joint. I'm here in St. Mary's. I saw the crystal blue water and the sandy bay church. It's just so beautiful. To St. Michael's Mount Hill. So I'm there. So we're going to head, we're going to head this way. Yeah, I think there's one walking over. Oh, cobblestone. So you can see there on the back there is St. Michael's Mount. And I need to be, I need to be off here before 3 o'clock in the afternoon or else I'm going to be stuck here. And I need to get the boat to get to the shore since these are the boats that is on St. Michael's And so far, those boats are not close. Those boats are not in use anymore because the seawater is down, so you can just walk by foot, by foot up to the shore and go up here. So it's just so nice. So, come on. We're just going to explore St. Michael's Mount. They call it St. Michael's Mount. So it's like a palace. Alright, so probably it is a palace. I don't know. So you can see from here the one on the top there. There is a checkpoint, no access without a castle ticket. So, this one, they go in the Pokemon's steps. So, it's a steps. It seems to be like if you made a mistake, you end up admitted to the hospital. And I don't think this is the right way to do this thing. Overlooking the, the sea, but on the other side, the sea level has come down, so we managed to walk down by feet. And we're here now in St. Michael's Town. If you can see there, and it's beautiful here. And, and 
there is a castle that's St. Michael's Mount. And there's a long queue, so I'm waiting until it clears off. So, I'll see ya. So I'm here in St. Michael's Mount. We're not allowed to touch anything. Wow, this is a beautiful library and I don't know if you can read all the books. It feels like if you have this kind of house and you have a library, it feels like you are a well-educated person. I guess so. <laughs> Here is the window and it's overlooking the sea, a crystal blue water. It's so relaxing to look at the scenery and the view. It's just so beautiful. So these glass windows are from 12th century. I'm not sure, but that's what I've read, so. I can be wrong, but this palace has been here a long time ago. And it's just amazing to look how the windows, the glass windows and its door, how it has a design in the railing. And this is another residence hall if you can see the ceiling the way how it's designed it's so beautiful and the paintings around oh and the long table is wonderful the way how it was designed in each intricate details on the edging the glass window stained glass the painting the draw all of it are just beautiful and you can just visit here for a day that will help you to relax There you go. So we have another room here. I get into, and you can see different paintings and another fireplace there and if you can see a wonderful wooden floor wooden flooring a good chair olden chair from centuries ago it's just so beautiful and the window glass overlooking this crystal blue sea there you go. Now I'm heading to the church, and this is a priory church. They call it St. Michael's Mount Church, and it's actually run by Benedictines. And if you can see, they still use this for Sunday service. 
you will see in front, of course, a wonderful altar in the stained glass and the crucifix. The wooden chair caught my attention. Just walking out now here along the terraces there is an overlooking sea and town of Pensons. Well I'm in Marazion and you can see the crystal blue water, the greeneries are just fantastic. It is good to actually walk around during the day because it makes you relax and you can unwind here a good day out away from the crowded busy city and enjoying the view at the moment come and join me it's really good it's a lot of wonderful scenic view to see So walking along these terraces is beautiful. It just makes your day. And now heading to a different residence hall of the palace. As you can see, there's an old chair. And if you can see the glass window there there is a drawer on top of it is the small miniature st michael's mount in different you know different frames and it was a lot of maps in the frame along the you know wall of that hall this is the old staircase you can see and these old paintings has been here centuries ago and they managed to preserve it they are they are not my uncle or auntie <laughs> they've been there long time ago and i wish i had that painting too this is this is a secret door i can see and i don't know what's the purpose of that but it could be something else and a staircase again going to the ground floor but then i i saw this uh glass window again with a different metal railings there now heading down using this stairs this is spiral stairs has been here long time ago as well and you can see the hallway going out but we're not heading out that way yet so turning on the other side walking to this other room on the last room that i'm going to and there's a little stair up there a secret hallway too and these are weaponry or armory from 20th century, 19th century, and 18th century, I think. So these are from 17th to 20th century. So these are all weaponry you can see old guns ancient swords and samurai long guns i should say look at the guns 
old and long. How is that? For sure, only the rich one can afford that at that time. Wow, this is a very long, long weapon. Only with long arms can hold this. Not my short arm, indeed. That's it. The end of my tour. Now I'm heading out from the palace. The tour is finished. And let's call it a day. Along this hallway, you can see a lot of frames on the wall. Different pictures of people in this palace. And it's really wonderful to look around and see the place. Goodbye.